Hey everyone, this is Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, and I have a card construction for you today. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and get started. My card base is 4x4 four four inches, and it's going to open on the side like, um, like a regular card, I guess, but it's a square card, and I already inked the edges. With some gray ink, I used gray flannel from Memento, and I already inked the edges of everything, and I already kind of stamped some things too. So anyway, I'm going to go on ahead and get started. I am using paper from, where'd it go? The Authentique. The Authentique Fresh Collection. It's an older collection, but uh, it's a beach theme. And I'm going to go on ahead and get started. So I have this piece right here. This is the pattern, kind of a plaid. And then this is the plane on the back. And then this is the labels 17 uh, spellbinders. So I am just going to adhere this down with my ATG once I find it. There it is. I'm going to have this cover a big portion of the card base. The card base is just basic white uh, card stock. And then I'm going to trim that off. Oh. I think I got it a little crooked, but I'm not going to worry about it. That's the beauty of... A handmade card, right? Is that uh, it looks handmade? All right. So I got that on there, and then I have one of the smaller ones, and I stamped Aloha on it, and this is from an Amy R. stamp set, rubber stamp set, and that's gonna go. right there. I'm going to adhere that on. This is definitely a layering card. And you know what I think, because I have this strip too that has sand dollars on it. Did I kind of distressed up a little bit? Yeah, I think I'm going to adhere this on first. So I'm going to, hey, cooperate. Put some adhesive on that. And I'm going to trim that off. And all I did was just rip this from the paper and then inked it up a little bit. And now I'm going to put this Aloha on top. And then this is the backer for my image. I did a Magnolia stamp. For this card and that is uh, an image that I had previously colored like a while ago like a long time ago <laughs> and I didn't put a whole ton of adhesive on this piece because I kind of like it being flipped up a little bit on the corners kind of a more 
You know, I don't do distressed looks very often. But sometimes it just kind of calls for it. And I kind of like that flipped up edge a little bit so I didn't put a ton of adhesive on there. And then here's my image. She's a magnolia. Sorry, I keep getting at the top of the frame. And I don't know what colors I used, but I used some glitter on her tail. I used some glossy accents on the bubbles. And um, then on her little, in the on the stamp, she has like a little headband made out of circles. So I took some nail art jewels, some like rhinestone ones, and then some pearl ones, and just put, put them on top of all the little circles that were on her headband. So it looks like it's a jeweled little headpiece. And now that's going to go right in the center and she's a little mermaid she's so cute this is actually if you're looking for this stamp she's part of the um astrology set if that makes sense so don't be looking for a mermaid you need to go to the astrology set it took me a long time to find her <laughs> and i have some foam tape that i'm going to pop her up on I put quite a bit of foam adhesive on just so that it's sturdy all the way across and it doesn't do any weird dipping in the middle of the image because it's like, you know, whoop. <laughs> so I tend to put quite a bit on because I found when I was first crafting with foam adhesive, which was many, many, many moons ago, I just never liked how it turned out and it was because I wasn't using enough of the foam adhesive. So if you have that problem where you're like, I never like when I use foam adhesive, it never comes out right, you're probably not using enough. Alright, and she's just gonna go just like so. And then uh, to glue down these little nail rhinestones and pearls, I just use the Tombow Mo Mono Multi. It has a nice fine tip on it and you just barely touch it and then put the little bling on and you can get these from eBay and Etsy and I think even Sally's beauty supply carries now they're kind of expensive there though all right and then on to the inside oh I think Claire's even sells those little nail art jewel things now too and you can get them on sale all right on to the inside inside is going to be super plain and actually I hadn't thought of this before but I might use this little bonus piece yeah awesome and I'm just gonna put my I only have the big ATG out so it's not going to cooperate with this little piece so I'll just put ooh, a big old glob of glue <laughs> on the back of this
This is probably my favorite liquid adhesive. I just like how it performs. I was storing it tip down, so it's kind of oozing out all over the place right now. All right. And then I have this little banner piece out of kind of the what looks kind of like scales paper. When I bought this paper originally, when it first came out, which was a couple summers ago, I actually thought it was Christmas paper because it has red accents. I didn't use any of the red accented paper in this one. And then come to find out it was beach theme. All right, so there's my little decorative corner. And then I'm going to stamp. right here and I'm just going to use my tuxedo black because it's what I have handy and this is a brand new one so it's nice and juicy sorry I was just checking to make sure it got all covered Just sitting here thinking of you. And that's it. If you wanted to get super fancy, you probably could do some like um, glossy accents, uh, like bubbles around. I think my glossy accents is all dried out. I need to get a new one. I don't know if I can save it. All right, so here is the outside and of course you could get you could do more of the glossy accents bubbles you could do some sequins you could just get all kinds of wild here's the front I just love my little image here she's kind of crooked but maybe that adds to the charm of that and then here is the inside and it is done. All right. So I have this card construction coming out. And then I actually have another one that I filmed before this one, but it needs to be edited because some wacky stuff happened <laughs> in the middle of um, me recording it. So that one will be up mm, by the weekend, let's say. So anyway, I hope you really liked my card. I think she turned out adorable. And... I think that's all I have. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.